Back in approximately 47 or 48, one has to recall that the government was interested in, in setting up some, something that might be called a, a reasonably large supersonic tunnel in order to do testing for what was clearly developing in supersonic flight. And I believe both Caltech and MIT received the nod. In those days, the calculations that were done and the design was all done with desk calculators, and the nozzle were designed taking advantage of the whirlwind computer in the old Barter building on Massachusetts Avenue, which I believe was the first time that that type of thing had, had been done. It occurred to me you know, that maybe we could develop a way of holding wind tunnel models uh, in the wind tunnel using magnetic fields and magnetic field gradients and getting around the support interference problem. And we did it. We built it couple of balances. Bob Smith from AEDC Tullahoma had, uh, I suppose, the privilege of being in Moscow. So the man he was visiting said, gee, have you ever been to the missile reentry test center? And Bob said, no, he not only hadn't been there. Well, it turned out that this was located in downtown Moscow, and they were looking at this various equipment. And Bob Smith said, that looks like a magnetic balance system. And the guy says, it is. He says, it's one we copied from MIT. <laughs> and he says, it doesn't work as well as the one that MIT did, but it works a little better than the one that NASA does. So. <laughs>